Hello, my name is Scripted, and this is the road to a world record double joe with the hunting horn. This is the 7 star quest called today's special Hunter's Flambe. The current hunting horn world record is held by Q, with an incredible time of 4.16.43. He also holds the world record for tempered double joe. The current best melee time posted to speedrun.com for this quest is with a lance, and it holds a 3.59.60, which is the 4th best time on speedrun.com. My first goal is to obtain the Hunting Horn world record, and my secondary goal is to achieve a sub 4 minute Devil Joe. Q uses the heavy bone horn triple augmented for attack. He has attack 4, weakness 3, crit boost 3, maximum might 3, handicraft 2, horn maestro, and non elemental boost. He isn't following time attack rules because he captures Devil Joe. However, he doesn't use any mantles or a palico. My first thought in beating his time is to use mantles and a palico. Because his time is a little older, we are able to further maximize this heavy bone horn set. My set looks like this. Devil Joe has a 3 star weakness to Dragon and a 2 star weakness to Blast, making the Blaze, Styx, and Deep Vero horns all tempting alternative options. I settled into the Empress Roar Blaze horn pretty quickly for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I already have it augmented for attack. It has natural white sharpness, making it a prime candidate for Teosha Technique build. I also love the way it feels and the way it looks. Here's the set I decided to run. Devil Joe can spawn at three different locations. Area 1, Area 8, and a different area that sucks and makes you abandon the quest. We spawn in Camp 1 every time. We take a Might Seed, Mega Demon Drug, and run to this opening to play our songs. If Joe isn't in Area 1, then we fast travel to Camp 8 and check Area 8. If he isn't there, we abandon the quest. We flash pull Devil Joe to our location, popping Might Pill or Demon Powder either before or after the flash. We then equip the Evasion Mantle and hit Joe on the nose, initiating the fight. We roll his big roar and obtain the Evasion Mantle buff. Position yourself to either get a free Super Pound or a Back Slam. I find Back Slam to be more consistent, but Super Pound is the way to go if you nail it every time. Most of Devil Joe's moves are easily telegraphed and can be rolled through without evasion with relative ease. The fight unfolds in a standard manner. Joe throws out an attack, and then the hunter throws out an attack, remembering to not overcommit. We use backslams because his head moves frequently, often disintegrating that opening you thought you had. I avoid using a reverse backslam, otherwise known as a grifted, for a couple of reasons. I like using the standard backslam because it moves the hunter back and away from Joe, creating space to see what Joe has for you next and it gives you ample time to see Joe's counter move, making it easier to slap him with a neutral recital, causing a hard knockdown. As the Hunting Horn player, we use neutral recitals to counter the counter because it throws out a large forward hitbox that is very generous and comes out quickly. Neutral recital is the safest option when slapping Joe. Devil Joe's counter can come out when he's enraged or not, and it's seemingly random what causes him to perform the counter. It was thought that hitting his chest while he's enraged causes the counter, which may be true. But here, I hit his ankle, and he decides to use his counter anyway. Another move I'd like to discuss is his stomp and jump stomp, both of which throw out deceptively large hitboxes that cause the hunter to be stunned long enough to take out a bank loan. Further exacerbating the problem is Joe. He can throw out these moves consecutively and constantly. I've had a Joe stun lock me for 4 stomp cycles because I was just out of range of the first hitbox but still in range of the second hitbox, causing the tremor. My hunter was perpetually stunned as I tried to crawl away with my dignity. I find that rolling in the direction of Joe's head decreases the chance of getting tremor to death, however it's not consistent which is why I ran Rocksteady Mantle as my second piece of equipment. His Breath and Tail Whip are both frustrating moves at first, but both can be easily rolled through once you get used to the timing, and they can be used to open up Joe for an offensive rush. 
Joe's version of the Diablo's merciless horn attack has him swagger back and forth throwing out large, wide-sweeping hitboxes. It's best to read the swagger, predict it coming, walk away from him, and punish with a backslam. If you get caught with your pants down, rolling towards him oftentimes sees you roll through him, putting the hunter in a safe spot to reset the neutral. If you get caught, it causes a hard knockdown, which might trigger Joe to get up on his hind legs and slam down on you. It's best to play possum and stay down during this attack. The matchup is pretty fair and honest for the hunting horn player. It's a risk reward matchup that rewards risky plays like the Devil Joe Slap or offensive rolls through Dragon Breath with windows of opportunity to get damage. Exhaust plays a big part in this matchup as well, making it favorable for the horn user. I progress quickly through the speedrun, partly because of my previous experience with the Hunting Horn Devil Joe matchup in past games, as well as solo farming Tempered Devil Joe in Monster Hunter World. The only learning curve that I experienced was nailing down the Devil Joe slap timing. After that, it was smooth sailing and small optimization. I have a couple tips for any hunters interested in beating my time. Firstly, I would recommend using the Empress Roar Sticks, Empress Roar Blaze, Deep Barrow, or the Heavy Bone Horn and running completely optimized sets. For a Master's Touch Empress Roar Blaze build, more than one attack jewel is required to min-max the set. So I got the world record with an unoptimized set. Styx has the potential to be the best horn in the game and I would recommend this set. To min-max this set, you need one challenger jewel, which I don't have. Bone and Deep Vero are pretty obvious to build for though Deep Vero will require Affinity Booster unless you're running the Crit Vero set. Evasion Mantle should always be your first piece of equipment though. Besides build optimization, switching Rocksteady for the Impact Mantle could offer a faster kill time if you get lucky with Roars and Stomps. Your Palico can make your run a bust or a world record. If you don't like the RNG of the Palico, feel free to leave him behind, though overall I felt he helped. Utilizing Wrath of Meow and Palico Manipulation with Signaling could also provide further optimization. To really nail this time into the ground, I would think Devil Joe has to spawn in Area 1. You can initiate the fight the fastest when he spawns in Area 1, so that makes the most sense to me. And lastly, putting in more time and work than I did will definitely result in you crushing my time. I suspect Sub 3 is certainly possible. At the end of the day, I spent roughly 6 hours on Devil Joe. I accomplished my initial goal of obtaining the Hunting Horn world record relatively quickly. But did I accomplish my secondary goal of obtaining the first sub 4 Devil Joe with the Hunting Horn? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. As always, keep playing that sweet chin music.